and number four is uh, speculation. Now, um, there are two kinds of doubts. Now, uh, speculations are due to uh, actually that involves doubt, uncertainty. And uh, in Buddhist cycle, there are two kinds of uh, doubts speculative doubts and investigative doubt. Speculative doubt and investigative doubt. Which one would you like to choose? Investigative. investigative doubt. And those who are judgmental, uh, they go with uh, speculative doubt. Oh, you know what? I don't... I don't, do I do. That's what you say. I don't think so. That's what you would defend. Always you try to counter. If you really want to learn, and you need to investigate. Doubts are a good source of wisdom. But when you only go with the, the investigative doubt, not with the speculative doubt, when you keep speculating, you never, you cannot make the clear conclusions. Whereas, even though investigations are difficult, and that helps you to uh, uh, clear your way of thinking. Because most of the time, uh, when you have speculative doubt, means you have subconsciously, you have already subconsciously made some conclusions. You are simply looking, uh, reading. You are simply listening to someone. When you have speculative doubt, and you are not ready to open up. So this is also, uh, we use uh, this as in family counselling. As a family counsellor, I use this technique a lot. How, uh, so this is speculation. Now, uh, uh, either party accuses that the other party is not faithful. Right? Not faithful. And then, uh, because I have come back to some families, uh, they, they live in the same house, but they have no connection whatsoever, no relationship. And in one family, in case uh, the husband had uh, uh, husband had been doubtful of his wife for like 21 years, he failed to ask. So I put them in two different. I asked them to come at two different times and spoke to them in, uh, in at two in two different sessions. But later, uh, I was the mediator. And then, then he cried and said, I, sh I should ask her, sorry I tortured you. So, uh, and then, so you need to investigate. You start investigating, investigation process by, with the family, with the friendly discussion. Right? So that is when uh, dialogue, there's a whole psychology of dialogue. And then in family life, uh, you maintain your, you keep up with your speculative doubt because you don't open up, you don't uh, invite the other party for a dialogue. You, you stick to your monologue and you don't speak up, you don't ask. So that is why this uh, speculation, that is, you have to understand the speculative doubt in that sense because this is applied. And we are, the purpose of this disc discussion is not to attain Nirvana, actually, I would like to say. Right? This is not about Nirvana. This is about our daily life. When you fix some problems in your daily life, you are another step closer to salvation. And then when you s remain the same typical person, speculating and then defen being defensive and then dogmatic and all that, how could you attain whatever the salvation that you want? Even if you visit the temple ten times a day, you do lots of prayers, but they won't help. Right? Because you need to fix everything in here. Because salvation is, uh, as I said, salvation is the highest shift in our cognition. Cognition means, you know the words are there, uh, cognize and recognize, right? so the cognition, so we are cognitive, 
when it comes to cognitive behavior so in uh, western psychology they, they also use the cognitive the term cognition cognitive uh, so nirvana is the highest cognitive shift and it is within so you don't have it's not cosmic you go nowhere there's no going you go nowhere and uh, that's when that's this uh, Zen question uh, what do you achieve as an enlightened person nothing um, you don't achieve, achieve anything you achieve nothing you simply transform yourself get rid of these fixations <laughs>